last time on Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Suddenly, I hear a revolver. <laughs> Close. Then I hear a voice. Wait, you're saying you found Mr. Latouse already dead? And then you heard shots? And you escaped through the air vent. I know if I open the vent, I can leave stage and backstage. Hey, he's right. Look, Apollo. Yeah, but how did you know it was connected like that? I hear this from Magician. You're sure you won't testify, Machi? I... no talking. No. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to try a different approach. So, what's your plan? If Machi won't testify about it, we'll have to get someone else to testify. The defense would like to approach this case from a different angle, Your Honor. I would like to cross-examine the witness in this case, Lamiror. What are you up to now? Uh, Lamiror was taken to the hospital yesterday with injury. Why would anyone be out to kill Lamiror? Think of how she is known in our country. A singer from overseas who doesn't speak English. Yet someone tried to keep her mouth shut. The defense believes that something was hidden in her testimony yesterday. Something that the killer doesn't want getting out. Lamiror, do you by any chance remember what they were saying to each other? I only heard one phrase clearly. It was the other man speaking, not Mr. Latouse. The, the shooter then, Darian Crescent. Well, what did he say? It's over. Press the switch. Now. I have a switch right here. This was found on the stage. Are you claiming that the voice Lamiror heard was of someone commanding another to press this switch? It's a possibility. The stage is quite far from Lamiror's dressing room. Not to mention that the Gaviners were in the middle of a concert on said stage. You could shout all you wanted and not be heard. From what I heard that night, everyone on stage was wearing one of these. Isn't that right? Yes, actually. And if we're talking between band members. <laughs> well, they're like playing their songs like, oh yeah, so what did you do last night? <laughs> oh yeah, I watched the footy. What about you? Oh, oh, me too. Ooh. I went for a vindaloo oh, and all I spent all night was on the loo. I know that feeling. I know that feeling, yeah. <laughs> Lamiror heard a voice and she heard it during the second set. Think, how was Lamiror able to hear the voice? When we investigated the scene, the window was closed. The shooter had no reason to close it had it been open either, meaning it was impossible to hear the voice through that window. So there can only be one explanation. She heard the voice from another location entirely. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Disillusion Plays Apollo Justice Ace Attorney, where we play the games and do the voices. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Now, before we hop Wait. on in, I'm Taylor. Wait. I'm, I'm Pete. You switched it up. <laughs> and I'm Sarah. <laughs> Poor Pete's brain Taylor, melted out of his Taylor, ears. Taylor, did you almost for forget? Moment. What? Did you almost forget? Forget what? To say who we were. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, like, it was just like, we, th we thought you were going to carry on and not, and, like, not introduce us. The, but, like, Pete was like, like you kind of were like that. Like, <laughs> you know, so you say, like, yeah. I, apparently, I guess I went against the natural order. I, it, <laughs> you can't go against the natural order with editing uh, Pete. He gets upset. I don't like how you guys paint me as this like old freaking <laughs> dragon. Oh, it's, it's what? But no. I'm not. <laughs> no, I just was confused. That was all. It's fine. Let's go. Come on. What's what's this? <sighs> but can we remember? What's this? <clears throat> Wrong time to take a sip of water. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you do amuse me so. It's like going to the carnival and watching a clown. <laughs> and here I thought you and Good Sense were back on speaking terms. I hate clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I hate clowns. Now, I'm afraid you and Good Sense speak two entirely different languages. You're talking to Good Sense in Borginian, practically. Ah. <laughs> uh, Shall I interpret for you, Hair Forehead? Lamiror clearly stated she heard the voice through that small window. And there is only one small window at the scene. Are you sure? Eh? Think about it. Isn't there another small... Is there? Is, is there? What? Wait. Oh my god, wait, no. What? The air vent. 
If the air vent was open, the sound would carry through it. Oh. Is that is that oh. what he's getting? Because other, otherwise, I've got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I've frankly got no clue. Because there's no literal window. No. But I'm just trying to think of something. There's not one in the door. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like something small where the sound would get carried. And like the vents. Like if Lamoureux was, say, in the next room or I guess wherever there's a vent opening, then maybe the voice carried through there. Maybe. I, I, mm. I, I'm, I'm clutching at straws, it must be said. Isn't there another small window at the scene? There is? Just just trust me, Trucy. Um... Oh, sorry, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> judge! Judge! <laughs> Hello! No, judge uh, 404 stopped working. Uh, oh no, 404, not judge not found. <laughs> judge not found. Oh, I do that look. He wants us to ask him. Very well. You claim Lamoureux heard the voice from another location. I mean, I was a thousand percent sure it'd be through a headset, honestly, and then she could hear it from anywhere. Me as well, well yeah. yeah. But, like, the air vent, I guess, could, you know, if she's in close proximity, that would make sense, mm. maybe. Unless there's another window in the other dressing room. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. Mr. Justice, show us where this location was. Oh, oh for God's sake. Oh, yeah, so excuse right. me. <laughs> excuse me, just a sec. Now, this is a long-winded, incorrect answer. <laughs> Lamoureux. Or heard the voice from here. Right. Let me see. Let oh, me see. God. No, screw it. I'm doing it. Okay. Here. Take that! This is where Lamoureux heard that voice from. But, but that's no small window. Yes. That's the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, well done. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what nice. did she tell us? She said she's a Borginian, unfamiliar with our language. It's not a stretch to imagine she called this air vent a small window. Okay, that- Objection! I, I, I didn't imagine that. Now you've done it. You've gone beyond ridiculous and gone into ludicrous speed. No, it's not. <laughs> ludicrous <laughs> speed! I was just thinking the Go! same thing. <laughs> Sir, hadn't you better so buckle up? Oh, <laughs> buckle this! <laughs> buckle <Sorry>. this! <laughs> Sorry. So Lamy was up in the ventilation system listening to this man's voice? No! No, you, you fool. idiot! Th no. Wait, what? Th Wait, that's what? That's the no. Apollo. Apollo. That's the, That's definitely the only It was during the trick. It was during the trick when she was oh. moving from one to the other. That was how he moved her. Oh. She was in the vent and heard it when she was under there. Oh, shoot. Like frickin', literally, yes. Like freaking, <laughs> like freaking Die Hard. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> That's the only logical explanation. Yes. Now we just need Hans Gruber <gasps> and Yakita, Yaki The Yakitomi. Yaki Yakitobi Plaza. No. Yak. Is it Yakitomi? It's something like that. It's very. It sounds Yakitomi very much. Uh, da, 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 I can't. It's been a long time. I nearly said Yakitori, but that's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's, not that's a dish. <laughs> Nakatomi. Nakatomi. Well, I knew it was something. Oh my it was very God. close. We're going to get pitchforked and burned <laughs> for that like... one. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's like me calling uh, Nagato. What was it? Uh, not, Nagato. Not Kamida, but the other one. Oh, uh, uh, Nayagi. Nayagi. Nagato, yeah. Nayagi. Like, uh oh. Um, no. <laughs> NN. Uh oh. <laughs> Logical. You keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. <laughs> I do not think this word means what you think it means, hair forehead. Okay, what about it isn't logical? Ta! It hardly merits saying. Why would Lamy Roar be in the ventilation system? Hiding like a rat! Uh, no offense intended to her, of course. The explanation for that is simple, Prosecutor Gavin. Isn't it, Lamiror? Uh, I'm blind, I don't. I have no I idea. I actually had no idea where I was at the time, honestly. Uh, you have been listening to our discussion here, yes? I, no, I have uh, tuned you both out. I was, <laughs> I was trying to go to my happy place. She's actually wearing her AirPods. And well, uh, <laughs> uh, yes. I admit it had to be quite confused since yesterday. Uh, sorry. Yes, this small window was closed. But why would that mean I could not hear through it? What? 
because oh, she's yeah. thinking of the uh, yeah because yeah. Yeah, I, I fear, guess yeah the vent sort yeah. of like the mesh yeah, the yeah, bars yeah, yeah. whatever was closed I but. feared our prosecutor might himself need an interpreter mm -mm. <laughs> let's the problem here is words. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are they? What be do? <laughs> what be I don't do? know because disillusion it? plays as an entity isn't so good with words. <laughs> <laughs> it it true. We, that be it how it does. Yes. Lamiror, this small window through which you heard the voice was it up high on the ceiling of the room, not low on a wall. I do not know what this ceiling or wall <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, yes, it was upon the ceiling. Fancy knowing how to use a word like ceiling, but not knowing the difference between window and like air vent, I guess, mm -hmm. like vent, but okay. What? Mm -mm. <laughs> order, order, I will have order. Oh, he's gone. Oh, bye. That wasn't me. No, Again, no, no. auto advancing. Witness, Gotta love it. You will clarify this statement to the court. Are you in fact saying that you were up above the ceiling of the room? <laughs> yes, floating above it. And that's where you heard the moment of the crime? Uh, yes, in fact I was. Why were you not covered in dust? <laughs> I am sorry. I, I never imagined it would become such an important point. Y yes. Well... WHY THE HECK WERE YOU UP THERE?! <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's time for another testimony. I... I'm not sure I, I... I can't. What, you're not sure that you can't? What the hell? Valent Grammary just slowly is like yeah, sliding in yeah, from yeah. the background. <laughs> <laughs> May I remind you this is a murder trial. We will hear your testimony. That is why you witnessed the crime from above the ceiling of that room. Please. <laughs> ah, well, looks like I'm on the right track. More uh, like you're on the highway to hell. Mm -hmm. uh, more like someone's gonna make us all disappear at this rate. Yeah. <laughs> above the ceiling. Yes, I was above the ceiling when I heard the voice. Oh, that's a strange viewpoint. Mm -hmm. She's like bent over. Yeah. That looks real weird. It does, doesn't it? I had heard there was a, a, a small window there before. Also, she would have had to have been freaking sprinting. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> it was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I had heard as to why I was there. Cannot say. Surprise. I am bound to secrecy on this matter. Uh, bound to secrecy? In my line of work, one has many obligations to uphold. Did you say you were in the middle of your performance? Yep. So this did happen during the second set? Nope. I did not witness the crime, you must understand. I only know what I heard. Yes, but you must tell us what you were doing in detail. That's what the cross-examination is for, ya, hair forehead? Oh, yeah, because you don't want to have to do any work. Yes. Uh. <sighs> Our mission in this court is to discern the truth. No obligation, no binding pact may hinder that mission. <clears throat> Very well. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. What are we going to do, Apollo? Uh, what are you going to do, Apollo? Thanks, Trucy. For a second there, I thought you were sharing the burden. I'm just your really cute magician assistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find out the truth. Without really? You. How are you going to do that? No thanks to you, after all. Hey, there's no need to be mean, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Mr. Grumpy Pants. <laughs> She was up above that she was up above that ceiling for a reason. I just have to get it out of her. Do you think she was trying to swing from the chandelier here? From the chandelier here. <laughs> the chandelier? Here. I don't think she'd be swinging in any chandeliers in an event, but <laughs> No. 
I don't know. It was a pretty tall belly air vent. It was pretty big, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like I said, she was, because, yeah, you'd expect it to be crawling through it, but she was freaking <laughs> out, like, walking. She could do some star jumps in there. They're so big. You could swing a cat round in there, as they say. Aww. As the saying goes. <laughs> as the saying goes. So mean. Mean saying. I'm not saying I would do it. No, I'm not saying you're mean. Well, I said the saying is well, mean. Well, there's a certain cat that you might swing oh, around. I no, would not. I would not. That's not true. He's a pain in the buttock, but we wouldn't do it. No, <laughs> absolutely not. That's mean. <laughs> we love him in our own way. <laughs> love is such a strong word. <laughs> Hold it! I'll just start pressing these. I was expecting to say it for some reason, but I'd sorry. already said it! Yeah, I know, I'm being <laughs> stupid. Above the ceiling? Could you be more specific? Somewhere around the light. Uh, fixing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, I don't know, I couldn't see I anything, could, see. could I, idiot? I cannot. Because you're bound to secrecy? Yes. To tell the truth, I was not supposed to even say I was above the ceiling. What? I dare not say more. Ah, It doesn't sound like I'll be able to coax it out of her just by asking. Okay. Hold it! By small window, you mean the air vent? I always remembered I needed to be careful of where I put my hands and feet. I cannot see the light coming through the window, of course. The yeah, event grate would trip you up, certainly. So I was working very carefully when I heard the gunshots. Startled, I crouched and listened. <laughs> In the middle of the performance, mind. Yeah. Which, by the way, she took no more than, like, what, five seconds to appear from one, to disappear from one bit and appear at the other. <laughs> Maybe ten. Maybe. <laughs> but that is when I heard his voice come from the room. Darian's voice. I know something terrible had happened, yet... Hold it! So, without a word, you just left, let the third set start? After the curtain closed for the second set, there was still much to do. Y you could have prevented this whole misunderstanding if you'd only told us sooner! Yes, perhaps I could have. I see little point in badgering the witness. What's done is done. Oh, yeah, well, you would say that because it all works in your favor, doesn't it? The mind works differently when one is in the middle of a performance. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure Like us, that. which is why we never are able to talk, because our minds are working differently. <laughs> why, I've lost my voice in the middle of a show and kept on singing completely unaware. <laughs> what, just like... <laughs> I bet that was a, ra a rapturing performance. That. Yeah, so <laughs> the, particip the participants, the participants, uh, the showgoers were very happy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't regret it one bit. Singing without a voice. Uh, if only all contradictions were so obvious. <laughs> if only I could get Lamarro to talk. Pressuring her, pressuring her like this doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Hmm. As for why I was there, I cannot say. Hold it. You heard the gunshots during the second set, during your performance. You heard the gunshots during the second set, during your performance. You're quite sure? Yes. Why would I lie about... Why would I lie about the time? Why did you tell us this yesterday? No one asked me. I thought you all knew. I told you Machi was no, not the killer. I told you this many times. Yes, you did. But you never told us why. I am sorry. I was not able to speak of it. <sighs> Unable or unwilling. She's not talking, Apollo. What do we do? We'll just have to prove it ourselves. As long as she is bound by the Pact of Silence, she won't talk. If I can prove why she was up there, she'll have to admit it. But how are you going to do that? She was singing on the stage, Apollo. She could have been up above the ceiling, too. Yes, she could. Huh? I've got a theory as to why, too. 
and maybe I've got the evidence to prove it. See, this is why I was sort of pressing everything, because mm. I'm like, do we actually have, like, that sort of evidence? The cassette. Yeah. The VHS, oh. it, because it'll show a moving from yeah. the platform. Yep, yep, okay. I had no time. What was it? As to why I was there, I cannot say. We shall do a safety save. And then we shall... Well done for remembering that we had the cassette. Because I was thinking, we don't have any way to show the performance. And then it's like, actually, Peter, if you'd look at the freaking evidence, yeah, you'd know that Valent we do. Yeah, because Valent gave us. So. Yeah. Objection! Lamoror. <laughs> Truth be told, the reason for your presence above that ceiling is quite clear. Especially when you consider what happened during your performance. What happened? Yes. It's all right here on this video. Oh no. It wraps itself around me. <laughs> and now, through the air, I fly. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to be reading uh, uh, this. Whoa! 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 <laughs> right. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Burning on four, in my heart. Five. Fire. Six, <laughs> seven. Eight, nine. Burn my love 10, away. Oh, away. Ah! 12, 13, 14, 15. I was wrong. 17, 18. I know I missed 16. 19, 20. Okay, so it was actually more like 20 seconds. Still. Guitar. It's not a lot Guitar. of time no. to go from that high platform on one side to a high platform on the other side and go through a vent. Yeah, look how high up it is. Yeah. And how the hell yeah, did she go frick, down? Yeah, a freaking cannon in there, just, you know. Yeah. I wonder how she got down from that high platform with it being, um, it wasn't like sort of shielded. Mm. Like, you know, it wasn't, the front of the platform wasn't covered. So I wonder mm. how she managed to get down, then go through the vent, and then get up the other one. Very fast moving elevator. <laughs> An elaborate system of pulleys. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah I mean, that's not, you know, implausible. Mm. <sighs> As we can see, Lamiror was clearly not on stage for her entire performance. Also, I just want to point out, Mr. Gavin, <laughs> huh? this is my theme song. <laughs> oh. oh. Though it saddens me to be so realistic, Lamiror is incapable of actually vanishing, let alone teleportation. So, the only explanation is that she was hidden from view. And during that time, she moved to the back of the forum. Apollo! W w what Trucy? It's not nice to reveal a magician's secrets, and it's against the rules. Look, I'm not saying exactly how she did it, but this is a murder trial! But I'm a lawyer! I'm not supposed to be nice. This... Oh, very fascinating. But how is it possible? There is only 20 seconds no. between when oh. she disappears and reappears. Okay, judge confirms. 20 wow. seconds. She couldn't have moved that fast. <laughs> is something wrong, Prosecutor Gavin? Turns out that actually uh, it's a mannequin up on stage. <laughs> I mean, she didn't exactly move a lot, did no. she? No. Sounds like my ex-wife. Oof. Oosh. Damn. <laughs> this was his concert. His show. He knows how the illusion was performed. Aha! He's just realizing his own oversight. Oosh. That he probably elected to not mention this entire time because he wanted to watch <laughs> me suffer. Let's look at the cross-section diagram again. Again? Again. again. Here. <laughs> Here, we can trace the road to throw the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what? Here, we can trace a route through the ceiling. Route, route, route. It, go route. Ugh. it goes from the stage through the backstage to the rear of the forum. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Just like oh. singing lessons. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Recall, recall Lamoror's testimony from yesterday because we didn't have enough flashbacks. I was on my way from the stage to the backstage exit. There was something like a little window there. That's how I saw it. You didn't see well, anything. You couldn't see anything, but uh, 
she went from the stage to the backstage exit. Perfect description of this route above the ceiling. Lamiror knew of this because of part of because of her part in the illusion. But she wasn't the only one who knew. As Apollo said, words are the problem. <laughs> <laughs> words you say. <laughs> what? Just now in the lobby, Machi told me something. Another flashback. I know. I know if I open Invent, I can leave stage and back uh, the backstage. He said that? Oh, were you not informed, Prosecutor Gavin? Go you by. <clears throat> I knew about the Vanishing Act, of course. Yet I had no idea of the route that would be used. Oh, route. Interesting. Why didn't that magician tell me? Magicians only reveal details of their acts on a need-to-know basis. They're the bread and butter of a magician's life, you know? Which is why he bound Lamoror to secrecy. Well, Lamoror. I am impressed, Mr. Attorney. Machi was right about you. So, what does this mean? Are you saying you used this route above the ceiling? I did. Well, that's that. I'm still a little confused. Uh, why is that, Your Honor? As I said before. 20 seconds. Mm. Zoom. There was very little time between when she disappeared and when she reappeared. 20 seconds, tops. How could she do it so fast? Especially if she stopped to hear the shooter's voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, that. That's a good question. Can the witness explain this to the court? I... I cannot. A series of pulleys and skateboards. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> it's a freaking Wallace and Gromit contraption oh, it's where it's she just goes... <laughs> there's, a, there's, a little, there's actually a little tiny car. And she, <laughs> <laughs> she holds, <laughs> like a little, a little, a little <laughs> tiny Formula One car. Oh she my like, God. And she like drops into it and then... <laughs> I wonder, oh, excuse me. I wonder if you keep me away. <laughs> excuse yawning. me. Sorry. <laughs> We're losing Sarah. Good We're boring her to death. We're dropping like flies. I wonder if uh, there's got to be a body double, surely. A body double. Maybe. Uh, Wait a minute. I oh, didn't sorry. save my time. Very well. Mr. Justice. Yes? It's all up to you. Do your thing. Oh, <laughs> lovely. I'm so glad that once again it falls onto my shoulders. <laughs> um, the game is called Apollo Justice Ace Oh, Attorney. I suppose you're right. <laughs> what thing, Your Honor? You need to explain how Lava Roar was able to teleport like she did. Really? Why? Is this, is this just because you want to know how the trick was done? <laughs> is this really necessary? Shh. The mass magician is just going to come walk <laughs> into the middle of the courtroom now. <laughs> Or am I throwing your case out with the bathwater? Oh, why? Oh. <laughs> why do I get picked on? It's Lamiror who isn't playing along with the program here. I mean, yeah, at a certain point, he'd just be like, well, you're in contempt. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> As I have stated before, I am not at liberty to speak of the illusion that night in detail. <sighs> and you'll just have to tell us what you can. Valent's gonna be pretty upset. Mm. We'll hear your testimony on this. Mr. Justice, it will be your job to wring the truth out of her. Like an old sponge. <laughs> well. Yes, if you would, please. Ah, uh, right. I feel like a student before finals. <laughs> Good luck, Apollo. Oh yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, I could have said do a crappy job. I, yeah, but then we wouldn't get off the hook, would we? No, so be grateful. I, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. I followed the route exactly as I was instructed. There is an emergency exit in the backstage where a stagehand waited. From there, one can enter the forum on the opposite side from the stage. The plan was for me to move there in two minutes. 
I was on my way when I heard the voice. Two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, you say? Mystery deepens. Well, I guess the thing is, is that I guess the person on stage could have just not been her. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I suppose it was too much to hope that the judge would be able to come up with something. As does my curiosity. Take it away, Mr. Justice. <laughs> right, Your Honor. Right, Your Honor. All I have to do is find the contradiction between what Lamoror is saying and what we can see plainly in that video. I figured it out already. I am a magician, after all. Well, tell me. Mm -mm, not a chance. Uh, you can't reveal another magician's secrets. Come on. Such a tease. Yeah, hey, I know. You're supposed to be on my side here. And I have a magician's code to uphold. <laughs> <laughs> you can pout at me all you like, Mr. Grumpy Face. <laughs> it's like, why are you even here at the side of me if you're is not going to help? Is it as simple as her saying that it was... Sorry. Was it as simple as her saying that it was two minutes, but then the video shows that it was 20 seconds? Yeah, maybe. Mm. The big illusion. I was instructed to go as a singer. Let's see, from there, one can enter the forum on the opposite stage. The plan was for me to move there in two minutes. I, I think that's it. I think that's gotta be it. Hold it! Two minutes? Yes. It's going to be done in one minute if you are running. Running? In that cramped, dark tunnel above the ceiling? <laughs> Mr. Attorney. Have you forgotten? I am actually a world champion runner. Nah. Dark or lit, it makes no difference to me. Oh, yes. Yes, we remember all the kingdom hearts. It's no, fine. Ah, I'm... that's uh, true, but... So you're saying that on the night of the concert you made the trip in two minutes? Yes. Though I nearly didn't make it in time. You see, I stopped halfway. Lammy Roar disappears on the video for 20 seconds. But she says she made the trip in two minutes. How? If you want my professional opinion, I bet the answer's right there in that video. What? Well, Mr. Justice, perhaps you have some evidence for us. Uh... Let's do a save. Something... Something that can explain the discrepancy between the video and her testimony. Oh, we're going to have to look at the video, aren't we? Sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, honey. <laughs> you are my candy girl. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see that bit oh, without thinking go. of the biscuits. <laughs> kind of looks like a mannequin. Oh, there's a bit more movement. Hmm. But to be fair, Gavin looks like a mannequin as well. So... she go? That tower's up high. <laughs> okay, let's see. Whoa, whoa. Oh, we can fast forward. Hang on. Wait, I've spotted something. What? <laughs> Hang on. Me, I need a close-up of her. The brooch. The brooch is gone when she reappears. Oh. oh! So look, so the brooch is there, right? Yeah. I need. To, I, I could probably. I guess we could do with clarifying because it's a bit tricky to see. The angle ain't good. So there's the brooch. Yeah. Then we go on. She disappears. Right. Right. Let's go from here. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Hope you all like this song. Ooh, Ooh. it's a doozy. <laughs> Shock, horror. Oh no, he's singing it. Okay. I don't see it. This should be between her hair thingies. It's not there. It's not. He's there. gone. 
Oh. Well spotted people. So wow. that's a, but the thing is, is like, what does that prove? That there's probably two different people. It's not the same person. It can't be. Because when did she drop the brooch? She dropped the brooch because she snuck into the dressing room at some point. She oh. peeked. She said, well, she said, like, earlier on, like, she, she kind of peeked into the dressing room and she heard something. Ah! Evidence explaining the discrepancy? Present evidence. There's one piece of evidence that explains the discrepancy between video and testimony. So I guess the brooch itself. Yeah, because yeah. obviously mm -hmm. we're talking about the video. Take that! Lamy Roar, do you happen to remember this brooch? Aha! The brooch! We saw that yesterday, did we not? It was found at the scene, Your Honor. And you're bringing this up now. Why? <laughs> I thought we had already determined when that was dropped. So did I. But we hadn't. Jesus. Oh dear. So <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just the, uh, just, just the, it was just the, uh, what is it, the Voldemort jump scare I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Take another look at the video. No, for, we've just uh, established this. Uh, can we mute it, please? <laughs> I mean, we could, I could mute, I could mute it in post, but that wouldn't help us right now. No. Oh, here you can see she's wearing the brooch. Hmm, who she is. Let's look a bit later. <laughs> what? The brooch! It's gone! What? Yes. The brooch disappeared in the short space of 20 seconds. And it takes a full minute to run from the stage to the backstage. Which means there can be only one explanation, which I sure hope they're not going to get me to do in real time. Uh. The Lamoror we see before the vanishing act and the Lamoror we see after are two different people. Oh, damn. There we go. Whoa. What? The brooch was found on the floor at the crime scene and not just on the floor. Underneath the air vent. But oh. on the floor, directly beneath the air vent. She caught it and it came off, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Lamiror, tell me. Did you drop the brooch on your way back from the stage to the... On your... Did you drop the brooch on your way from the stage to the backstage? At the very moment you witnessed the crime? Yes, I, I think I did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Order! P Prosecutor Gavin! From your expression, I gather you had no idea this was the case, Hair Judge. I'm not quite sure how this sort of proves that she took a several minutes or anything like that. It just proves that she did go through the... the vent. The tunnel. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this sort of proves... But uh, I guess well, she, uh, she must them. have she must have been in the vent moving yeah. while the other Lamy Aurora was still on stage but I don't, is the only explanation. Right. Because they would have both had to have worn a brooch. Yeah. So the one that's on stage, so she must have snuck off earlier than that to allow for enough time to get there. But then the Lamy Aurora on stage had a copy of her brooch, but then she didn't have hers because hers fell off as she was moving. Mm. Yes. I think. I'm just not quite sure how that really sort of like proves the time discrepancy, honestly. Like, I guess unless we know exactly when that brooch was dropped, I'm not really sure how it makes any difference. But because I'm sure it's, we'll find you know, out. she had more time to get into position than we thought. Yes. Basically. Okay. Yeah, they're also like trying to establish that like she did actually, she was where she said she was. She did hear what she said she heard. Yes. And so, yeah, it now clarifies if there's two people, how she was able to go from that to that in 20 seconds now. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's just, it's giving her the explanation to 
clarify everything well, that she said. I guess it's proving that she was there at that moment. Yeah, yeah, and she anything. did hear the voices she said she heard. Yeah. And it was at the time she heard the crime take place. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Good job she dropped it. Yeah. Yeah. Have you said this, Taylor? Sorry. Yeah. Was the case, Hair Judge. I, of course, knew about it. What? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I wasn't hiding it. Uh -huh. It uh -huh. just never occurred to me. Uh -huh. Sure! Uh -huh. Oh, look, and my there's name the is big Je stinky prince at it again. <laughs> and my name is Papalo Wurstis. I don't know where that was supposed to be Phoenix, right? Like PW. Oh my name God. is Japolo Astis. Astis. <laughs> Astis. <laughs> well, that the switch and the shooting took place at the same time. So, I was right. There was a switch. There was. Just before the stage's tower rose, La Mirror was replaced. While we're on the subject, just who was this replacement La Mirror? Oh, that's, that's not really relevant, is it? Why, the man be- What? <laughs> right well! Then. What? I, wow. I, he makes himself up pretty good wow. then, don't he? He makes a good woman. <laughs> don't you know that my moustache is actually stick on? Uh, well, yeah, I'm just I was gonna that. say, yeah. yeah, how'd you hide that bad boy? Wow. I guess the veil? Uh, prosthetics. Oh, I suppose the veil. <laughs> the veil. Yeah, yeah, 100% the veil will have been helpful. Why the man behind the illusion? Valent Grammary. It was Grammary? That's quite the illusion. But... I still don't get one thing. How did he hide that killer mustache? <laughs> <laughs> yes? Oh, God, uh -oh. stop. <laughs> the switch happened before the tower rose, correct? So you weren't on the stage. That's right. But this uh, fake Lamiror is still singing. And she's pretty good. Dude, it's the, the, the earpiece. Yeah. That's true. Come on. On oh, Apollo, that's an easy one. Hey, we're just playing a recording. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the governors aren't some kind of air guitar band, Fräulein. Oh, you mean I'm wrong? When we play a show live, we play live. No recordings. Perhaps you can explain, Lamiror. Very well. Yes, do tell. I add it to your testimony. Oh, she's just singing and running at the same time, basically. Mm. I, I had oh. to keep singing even while I moved. Uh, but surely that would have distracted anyone who was below. Yeah, the others sort of heard her. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I, okay, let's press. This. Hold it! You were. Singing? Yes. Mr. Gavin expressed a dislike for recordings. Okay, it wouldn't have thrown off the others. So, the, I guess the first assumption is that it would throw off um, Latus and um, Darian. Mystery shooter, yeah. <laughs> but Gavin, uh, uh, Clavier did say, and I've mentioned this before, that he likes to turn up the speak them, you know, the speakers to maximum volume oh, for full effect. So her voice would have been blasting over the the uh, the speakers oh, anyway. Oh, yeah, true. So they would there is the, the speakers in the dressing room. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's why it wouldn't have made any difference. Mm. Surprised she heard it then. <laughs> I was going to say, well, but she yes, managed so to hear the shot over her volume being maxed out and then also her trying to sing while moving. Although, and not letting out a gas. If, if they're wearing hair pieces, she'd have heard them. So I would imagine they'd be wearing. Darian would be wearing a headset because he'd be on for the next set, performance, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. What did I sound like? Burning in my heart, fire! <laughs> oh god, there's a rat! I mean, <laughs> up and away! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gavin expressed a dislike for recordings, so I used this. Wait, so you were singing the whole time? Even when you were crawling above the ceiling toward the backstage? Why should it matter where I sing, when everywhere I go is the same darkness? <laughs> the same darkness. Oh, don't you start the again. <laughs> it's the same. I sing in the darkness but, as I live in the darkness. Oh but if you were singing, 
hiding while you were walking. That's right. Wasn't the shooter and victim of heard? No, the speakers. She was singing right over their heads, after all. That, that is, not is right. Are you sure? Oh, you'd have to be pretty hard of hearing to miss someone singing in the ceiling. Once again, we come back to the state of the scene of the crime. What state? Uh, oh, I know what he means. That old speaker, Apollo. If only everyone would catch up. The speaker? Hey, well, we, we can't hear what you're saying, <laughs> Mr. The, Blair. The speaker <laughs> was blaring at the time. That speaker was blaring at the time of the murder. Ah, huh, that's from monitoring to modern from that bad fire. <laughs> yep, Lamoureux speak there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Words are once again the pr the problem. <laughs> 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 just, uh, arise, like, arise! It's just like you said monitoring backwards. It was really strange. <laughs> ah, that's for monitoring the stage from this room. Monitoring? It pipes in real time feed from the stage microphones. Useful for knowing when your set is coming up. Satisfied? That dressing room was fitted with a large speaker playing a direct feed from the stage. At my request, actually. So Lamoureux singing in the ceiling sounded just like Lamoureux singing over the speaker. Ingenious! I feel like singing in the ceiling sounds like the name of a movie or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised that there wasn't some crazy-ass feedback, though. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. true. <laughs> but let's 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 not let's gloss over that detail. <laughs> Ingenious. Her voice was hidden by her voice. Uh, Lamoureux. I. They have just remembered something. Do tell. <laughs> Do tell. Just <laughs> super focused right now. It's like, more. Yes. Yes. Tell me more. <laughs> When I heard the noise, the gunshots, yes, it startled me, so I... So you... I stopped the singing. Uh-oh. What? I forgot the words I was supposed to sing. The... the song stopped? Thankfully, it was the very beginning of the second verse, so not many would notice. Forehead! That mixing board I lent you, where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> the mixing... Huh? That machine, Apollo! The one that breaks music into tracks! Oh, this? Oh, I'd completely forgotten about it. Apollo, you're hopeless. <laughs> Let's take a listen, if we must. <sighs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That first one that's the voice, I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's that where she says pleasure, isn't it? Yeah. It like takes a sec. Mm. The song does stop there. It does? Must have missed it. It's only for just a moment. Mm. I mean, I assumed it was just part of it, but yeah, because it isn't it pleasure, pleasure. Yes. Oh, it's two. she says pleasure oh, yeah. once. Yeah. Look at the lyric sheet at the top of the second verse. See where it says pleasure, pleasure. Now listen again, <laughs> please. <laughs> to my new favorite song. Oh my god. And it's so far back as well. This is evidence indeed. I believe we are guilty of making a terrible mistake. The crime didn't happen during the third set. It happened during the second, during Lamoureux's ballad. That is true. And no one on stage during the second set could have been the shooter. Which means that Darian Crescent could have done it. 
He wasn't on stage for the second set. Uh, and Gavin's looking smug. Mm, that's so, never a good sign. No. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? Fascinating. <sighs> huh? <laughs> I don't believe I've ever seen a trial turned around quite so thoroughly. Yet one problem remains. What's that, Prosecutor Gavin? Air Foreheads theory does have a certain kind of logic to it. Yet it is entirely based upon Lamia Roar's testimony. Yes? Is there a problem with this? Well, it's quite simple, though it pains me to say it. What if she is lying to protect the defendant? Objection! But you have no proof! And I guess we'll have no proof either, so... All I'm saying is that the truth is as yet unclear. Until we hear directly from the man himself. The man? You don't mean... I do. Adult shark doo doo. <laughs> doo 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 doo. Yes. Though he is a friend and Ben member, grown up shark doo 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 doo, grown up shark doo 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 doo, must take the stand. I see no other way. As someone with a new perspective on the case. As a suspect, to be. Frank. Wow. Mm. Finally. Shot a man do 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 do. <laughs> Shot a man do 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 do. <laughs> Finally. The rat's coming out of his hole. Damn. I'm ready to catch him. Darien Christian, get ready for justice. This is as good a time as any to pause for a brief <laughs> recess. <laughs> Prosecution will summon the witness. The witness. Have him here and ready by the time we begin. I'm the last man who needs to be reminded of what his duties are. Very well. Course is adjourned for 15 minute recess. Now, excuse And now me. Pete's going to have to interrogate himself. He's going to have to cross examine himself. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, like, the judge is like, Court is adjourned for a 15 minute recess. Now, excuse me while I quickly try and time how quickly I can run from vent, from the end of this vent to the end of that vent. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Oh, it's getting juicy. <laughs> yeah. I'll say they proved it's not matchy now because he was playing on the <laughs> on the stage. Oh blimey, Bob! This one's taking a while. Christ, I really need <laughs> to pee. <laughs> Oh, but, oh, that plant is starting to look really, really appealing, <laughs> and I'm running out of options. Hi, Joe. The marriage ain't that bad, is it, Jerry? <laughs> You're going to take on the plant? What? No, I meant to relieve myself. Oh. What do you think? I'm going to get married his, to a plant. To relieve his bladder, bear in mind. Oh, not, right. to, not to relieve himself, if oh, you sure know no, what I mean. Not meant. enough to arrest you for indecent exposure in the, in the courtroom. <laughs> Apollo, I can't believe it. It really happened during the second act? And right in the middle of Lamarar's performance? The reason she was in the air vent, the reason why she was in that air vent, and that switch, and the flaming guitar. When you link it all together, and that's what you end up with. I knew you had. I, I knew what you I, I think that's Nick. Oh, actually, that could Maybe. be. Maybe. Yeah. I knew you had what it took. Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes sense. Makes more sense. Oh, Daddy! Uh, Mr. Wright, you believed in me? Uh, I mean, kind of. Not really. Daddy! Uh -huh. That's mean. <laughs> I just thought that'd make a cooler entrance than, say, Haya. Why do we even bother hoping? Where have you been lately, Daddy? You haven't been coming to the office at all. Wait a minute, this should be the other uh, way around. This should be you telling me off for staying out too late. <laughs> what is happening in this family? <laughs> uh, sorry about that, Trucy. I'm on a, um, <clears throat> uh, a secret mission. Oh, secret mission. Mm, 
Okay. Yeah, it's sure. a, no, it's a, I, I, I promise it's a secret mission, and it's definitely not anything else. And, her, and yeah. is her name Crystal, Candice? <laughs> Je Je I really Je thought you were going to say is name Crystal Meth <laughs> No I'm, I'm trying to imply That it might be a lady of the night he Yes is, I he know, is I know. Oh. Secret You mean like you're undercover Like Mr. Latouse Only shorter and not as well dressed no. Oof What if you're shot too daddy <laughs> Would I do a thing like that to you? I mean, it's not usually voluntary well, when people I mean, are shot. <laughs> I mean, you don't come home most of the time, so <laughs> I don't know. I look after myself. <laughs> anyway, I'm off for a while again. Huh? You're leaving? Then why did you come Yipper. here? Oh, uh, one thing before I go. You're not gonna give me some random evidence. What? <sighs> Good luck. Right. That's my uh, name. <laughs> crap, did I leave the stove on? Um, why are you here? <laughs> Is that all you came to say? I think you have things pretty much under control. So what you're saying is you came here to waste my time during the recess where I could be figuring things out. That's what you're doing here. Look, I had to make sure Trucy was okay, and it's easier to at least pretend that I'm interested in you than to, you know, be the overbearing father figure who admits that he's worried. You know, sometimes, Daddy, I wish you would be overbearing. At least then we know we've got a healthy, normal, dirty father relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just want you to be carefree. And besides, uh -huh. you don't need the stink of homelessness on YouTube. Uh, You'll get Machi Tobaye off the hook, no doubt. Yeah, but... But you're after that detective, aren't you? Darian Crescend. It won't be easy proving he did it. Especially not under the current court system. The current court system? The current court system. The current court system? <laughs> The current court system. But is there any other court system we can use? <laughs> Just pluck one what out of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did Prosecutor Gavin say during the trial? Your case is based on one fragile assumption. Namely, that our diva divine is telling the truth. But what about all the proof? The brooch and the switch? A piece of jewelry and a lyrical blunder. There are plenty of other ways to explain these things. The flaming guitar, too. All because you lack definitive proof of their connection to the case. But... If the sultry songstress is lying, your case melts like butter in a frying pan, leaving behind the faintly singed scent of failure. So, what do I do? Don't put butter in the pan, obviously. Well, yeah. Like I said, good luck. What? And be aware that it will be impossible to prove his guilt by conventional methods. Ugh. Oh, that reminds me. Here is a gun with his fingerprints on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have something to give you from our detective friend. Did... Detective Gumsh Oh, you mean Detective Gumsh Sky. Emma? Uh, let's see. Uh, this bag of snacks here was meant for me. <laughs> oh. Ah, here it is. What the hell what is the that? Bloody hell. What are those, Daddy? They don't look like very good snacking material. Uh, they were found at the scene. Analysis, the fragments revealed traces of gunpowder. Gunpowder? Gunpowder. Gunpowder? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a uh, firecracker, something similar, like the ones kids are into these now, days. Now, that would explain why Lamoureux thought that she could smell gunpowder. Mm, yeah. These fragments were found under oh. the sofa at the scene of the crime, actually. Interesting. Under the sofa? Hey, Polo! That's where we found that little device thingy. Right, so that was intentional. Mm. 
Right, this. Right, so I wonder if that was to make it sound like the gunshots happened later then. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Well, finally, some evidence that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Right. Burned fragments added to the court record. That's all from me, I suppose. See you after the verdict. Maybe. Right. Every man has a... What? <laughs> Daddy! What? Is this a weird euphemism for your burning loins again? Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. Every man has an igniter inside of him. Uh, uh, excuse me? Find Darian Crescent's igniter and set it off. The... Uh. And he walked out the door, just like... <laughs> just like a magician. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> okay. I don't know why it sounded like he, uh, he like, uh, what's it? Like twirled a cloak. Whooshed. He like whooshed a cloak. They just used the same sound bite for grammar. That was yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. He swooshed Bye, his hoodie. Bye, Trucy. Love you. Help Apollo as best you can. Whoosh. And then he, van and then he turns into a bat and flies out like, uh, <laughs> like Dracula. Bat! <laughs> uh, what does he want us to do? No conventional methods? What does that mean? It means go and do a crime, sweetie. Uh, oh, great. I got daddy's permission to do bad things. <laughs> be gay, Yay. do crime. I can finally be the gangster I always wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trucy, we've got to be good. Mm, boring. <laughs> well, look, there's a reason that your dad isn't a lawyer anymore. There's a reason he hired you as a glorified babysitter. The, the, <laughs> oh! The, the, I, I mean, if you really think <laughs> about it, that's all you're doing, really. Well, Daddy disappears uh, for days on end, and I'm just stuck with you. Look, that's not and all I'm, I'm doing. And I'm underage, so look, I can't be alone. That's not all I'm doing. I'm solving this case. And mm. you happen to be here with me. Yes. Yeah, Solving's a strong word. Hey, Apollo. come on! <laughs> come on! We've got this far? I suppose. I guess we just have to take his advice <laughs> and hope it makes sense when the time comes. Mm, I guess. We're almost at the finish line. Hang in there, Trucy. But are we almost at the finish Hang line? Hang in there! Trucy, indeed. <laughs> I think this is probably a good time to call it a day. Folks. I think it is. I think we'll have the uh, not a black screen on screen. Oh, there no. we go. There we go. Call but where is Detective Crescend? <laughs> where is he, indeed? We'll have to find out next time, I'm afraid. So I won't have to cross-examine myself. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank no. God. <laughs> Not today, anyway. You can save your vocal coids. Co coids. coids. My vocal your coids. Vocal coids, coids, vocal coids, for coids. Next week. <laughs> for next week. <laughs> oh my god. I think Pete is screwed. Do 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 do. Pete is screwed. Do uh, do. Hey, I didn't say it. It wasn't me. That was Seth. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> if you do like what we do for if some bizarre reason. If you like listening reason, to bickering for hours on end. Then why don't you join us? <laughs> well, hour on end. No, no, no. For hours on end. Don't worry. There's plenty of it. You can check out our channel where you'll get loads and loads and loads of bickering. And to do that, you must like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yes. until next time, we'll see you again. Catch you in the next one, everybody. And remember, everyone has an igniter inside of them, so don't leave your switch for it under the couch because that'll be inconvenient if you need to turn it on or something. Don't leave your switch in a piano on a stage more than 30 feet away from you. Or leave it under a bofa. <laughs> a bofa? Bofa these nuts! <laughs> That's how I knew it. Got him! <laughs> 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 <laughs>